Hey y'all, today we're in the floor working on a cowbell for my sister. My mom bought this cowbell for my sister for Christmas and she asked me to customize it so that's what I'm doing. I have to keep it a secret so I stuffed it full of paper towels to keep it quiet. It already has an MSU logo on it so there's no need to worry about that. I just need to add her name on the sides and a design on the back. I used some plastic wrap and some masking tape to mask off the handle because I don't want to ruin it. Then I take the stickers off the sides because they're in my way. Now I do a lot of measuring and marking to make sure I can get the design super even. Before I did all this, I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear. Now it's time to start sketching the design. I'm writing her name on the sides in a typewriter font and I'm adding a swirly design around it. Looking back on it, the swirls in the typewriter font might not be the most cohesive choice, but I think it turned out cute nonetheless. Some of you might be wondering why I'm decorating a cowbell of all things. Well, my sister goes to Mississippi State University and the cowbell is just their thing. It's used to cheer at football games, it's used for decoration, it's used for a lot of different things. And like I said at the beginning of the video, my mom bought this for my sister for Christmas and I get to customize it for her.
After I finish sketching her name, I start working on Bully's face and the words maroon and right on the back. MSU's mascot is Bully the Bulldog, and their colors are maroon and white, but my sister's in the English department, and they have a shirt that says maroon and white, so that's the reasoning behind the design. Unfortunately, the footage I had of the last bit of sketching and most of the painting was, like, corrupted in some way or another, so I couldn't use it. Instead, we're just gonna skip straight to painting Bully's face.
In the end, I painted the whole cowbell with three layers of Liquitex high gloss varnish. Once the varnish is dry, it's ready to be put back in the box and wrapped for Christmas. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I promise I have more doll customizing videos coming your way, but college has been taking up all of my free time lately. So please just bear with me. I'm almost finished with my latest doll, so you should see her soon. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!